Hello everyone. So our example for today is referred from the book by Das and Siva Kugan, Fundamentals of Geotechnical Engineering. So this problem is related to the total consolidation settlement, which is comprising the primary consolidation settlement and the secondary consolidation settlement. For a normally consolidated clay layer in the field, the following values are given. The thickness of the clay layer is 3 meters. The void ratio is 0.8. The compression index C sub C is given to be 0.28. The average effective pressure on the clay layer or sigma sub naught prime is 130 kN per square meter. A surcharge is given to be 50 kN per square meter and a secondary compression index of 0 0.02 or C lambda. Now we are asked to determine the total consolidation settlement of the clay layer five years after completion of primary consolidate primary consolidation settlement. And take note that the time of completion of primary settlement is 1.5 years. So a given clay layer is has a thickness of 3 meters. Okay, this is the clay. It has a void ratio. In situ void ratio of 0.8 and a CC value of 0.28 and a C lambda value of 0.02. And another given values include the effective stress of 130 kN per square meter and a surcharge of delta sigma equals 50 kN per square meter. We have here the time to complete the primary consolidation, T sub 1 or T sub B, you can consider that, is 1.5 years. Okay. So if you want to calculate the total consolidation, that is the sum of the primary and secondary consolidation. And it is given that the soil is normally consolidated. So if we are going to review the formula for the primary settlement, for a normally consolidated clay, this is equivalent to CC H over 1 plus E sub O log of the effective stress plus the surcharge divided by the effective stress. There you go. And the formula for the secondary consolidation settlement is equivalent to C lambda H. Actually, H here is the height at the end of primary 
consolidation divided by 1 plus the void ratio at the end of the primary consolidation. And then this is log of T2 over T sub 1. So from this equation, let us check if we already have the data to calculate these values. We have C sub C already. So this is check. Okay, let me. We have the value of C sub C. The thickness of the clay layer is 3 meters, so that's okay. We also have E sub O. The effective stress is also given. The delta sigma is likewise given, as well as the sigma sub O. Okay, so we can actually calculate the primary consolidation right away. But let us check the data, availability of data, for the calculation of the secondary consolidation. C lambda is given. H sub P is not yet given. This is still a no. E sub P is also unknown. T2 is known. This is five years after completion of primary. And this is one year after the completion of primary consolidation. So we're going to look for the E sub P values and the height at the end of the primary consolidation. And remember the formula for E sub P. This is equivalent to the in-situ void ratio minus the change in void ratio in our primary consolidation. So we have E sub O, but we don't have delta E. And if you remember the consolidation curve, if you want to compute for C sub C, that is the change in the void ratio divided by the change in stress. And so if we solve for the change in the void ratio from that equation, we can say that delta E is C sub C log, this is the change in the void ratio, which is the effective stress plus delta sigma divided by the effective stress and if we substitute values we have CC is given, sorry, which is 0.28 log off. The effective stress is given to be 130. The change in stress is 50 divided by the effective stress of 130. And so delta E is equivalent to, after calculation, that is equivalent to 0 0.04. So we can now solve for the void ratio at the end of primary consolidation, which is equivalent to the in situ void ratio minus point zero four and E sub P becomes point seventy six. Okay. So this is also known already and let's just solve for H sub B. 
H sub P is actually equivalent to, that is the height at the end of primary consolidation. That means considering or subtracting the consolidation, uh, primary consolidation settlement, which is if the original thickness is 3 meters, this is should be minus our S sub P. So we have to compute first for our S sub P. The primary settlement is equal to, given all values, we have C sub C of 0.28. H is 3 meters over 1 plus void ratio in situ is 0.8. Log of the effective stress is 130 plus 50 divided by 130. So from here, we can solve for the primary consolidation, which is equivalent to 0 0.067 meters. Therefore, H sub B is equal to 3.0 minus 0 0.067 meters, and that will be equal to 2.933 meters. Okay. The next thing to solve is the secondary consolidation. And again, we have a formula for the secondary consolidation, which is here, C lambda HP over 1 plus E sub P log of T2 over T1. So we have C lambda, which is given to be 0 0.02 here. So this is 0 0.02. H sub P is 2.9. 3, 3 divided by 1 plus E sub P of 0.76 log of T2, which is 5 years, divided by T1 of 1.5 years. And the secondary settlement is approximately equal to 0 0.017 meters. Therefore, the total settlement Let us say this is S sub T that is equal to S sub P plus S sub S. And that would be 0 0.067 plus 0 0.017. The total consolidation settlement is 0 0.084 meters. Or this is... 84 millimeters. Okay, so this is our final answer. Thank you.